So just arrived in Albuquerque, New Mexico, took an Uber, got into my Airbnb. Now it's time to go train. I believe I get to do a session with uh, Mike Winklejohn and see their space. All right, Kyle, you ready to check out this place? Let's do it. All right, come on in. I had this sign put up here. It was kind of with, uh, a sign that I had in my old gym with our fighters, all of our kickboxers. And it was through these doors walked the greatest fighters in the world. And I always motivated when I came to get beat up by all these guys. So I put it up here for these guys. In, in our office here, we have uh, some things not fully put together. They're a map of everybody that comes here from around the world. So it's kind of cool. Everybody comes one place. They kind of uh, just put their life on hold and come live in a dorm room upstairs and, and uh, hope we can help them uh, attain their dream. And, and uh, we're actually really happy they're coming because those that group of guys getting together is, is pretty cool. Um, currently from around the world, that from everywhere, gosh, hey, Dagestan, a whole bunch of uh, Russia, Australia, uh, Mongolia, China, Brazil, Australia, uh, Paris. Gosh, every, everywhere, they're all here, and they all come together and work out, it's, it's pretty cool. So this is our, uh, this is where our two octagons are. We got pictures of all these these dorks on the walls here. Um, it's filmed quite a bit. There's no doubt people come in here and film quite a bit because in the mornings we'll get 50 guys in the mats over here. In the cage there'll be four, maybe maybe four or six guys fighting, and it's kind of a who's who's list of some of the best fighters in the world. So it's kind of a it's kind of, it's kind, of, kind of neat sometimes just to kind of watch. It's like watching pay per view, you know. This is actually, we have a chiropractor, a physical therapist. They've got, I think, six different offices in here. This is the this is where they, they meet people, do a little bit of the therapies, and they go in the offices and do the, the harder work on them, make them suffer, make them scream and stuff. Uh, hey, Doc. Bye, Dr. Man. Bo, he's the amazing man. Hey, takes care of all our guys. There's Maya, she keeps everybody straight. Causes, she, ca she causes a lot of pain, and she smiles about it. <laughs> So they got one, two, they got six offices that look like this for the therapy for these guys, so come on in. Um, this is actually Dr. Bo's office here, so he, he's a crazy guy. He hits people with mallets and, and canes, and, and uh, he definitely thinks out of the box, this guy, but he's here for a reason in that uh, he keeps everybody lined up straight, they're back to work. Our, our injury um, percentage is, way, is very, very low compared to that in the industry, and I think a lot of it has to do with this gentleman right here. This is our room where we do a lot of strategy meetings. We, we watch fights on, 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 the, on the TV up there, a game plan a little bit, break down some fights, some of the coaches get together with a fighter that's got a fight, decide what's the best, best thing to implement and, uh, and go forward from there. In through here is our main dorm rooms. We had uh, four of the dorm rooms we just walked by back there. And here, these are actual apartments. And here, these are efficiency apartments and one and two bedroom apartments behind all these doors right here. This is kind of the group area where the guys come in. So we have like 40 some guys that are living here right now and this is kind of where they hang out in here and, and do a bunch of nothing, eat some food and stuff. Uh, a small dorm room. Let me show what these things look like inside here. This is called living the dream right here. This is what it's all about. You can tell we spend a lot of time uh, making sure they clean. Apparently not. But uh, the guys come in, they pay for a bunk bed, and what's cool about it is, is yeah, it's not the greatest facility, but uh, um, they work out. They go downstairs, they work out, they come up, take a shower, they, they might take a nap, go back down, work out, come back up, eat something, go down, work out. And it's real convenient, and they get a mingle with a whole bunch of sharks, the best guys in the world. These are the girls' dorm rooms down here. We don't have quite as many ladies. Here's one of the room, they have a bunch of bunk beds in there, can't go in there for obvious reasons. Another one right here, bunk beds. This is their kitchen. They're probably a little cleaner than the guys. And then, then there's Kayla. So, uh, soon there's to be, one of them now. So, soon to be superstar, right here. Is that not true? That is true. That is true, yeah, 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 yeah. come on. So this is our, uh, this is a little weight room. There's not a lot of stuff here. Like, as you can see, we don't have uh, the most expensive equipment in the world, but uh, that we believe in a lot of body weight type of stuff. A lot of guys go outside for their conditioning, different conditioning schools. Come on in. 
We have a sauna and we're old school. Uh, we have an ice bath, got an ice machine here. Guys just dump ice in there and jump in there. It's kind of funny to watch them scream in pain. Um, more locker rooms, boys and girls locker rooms back there with bathrooms and showers. Come on out. That's where everything gets done out here. So like, like I said, Kyle, this is where most of the stuff gets done right here. You know what? This little guy going crazy. He's part of our, he's part of our adaptive MMA program. Right here in the mat is, this is it. They come and they grind. They, they work together every day on, on the mat. They get in the cage, there's kickboxing classes, grappling classes, MMA classes. We try to blend it all. And, and the fact that we have uh, fighters from around the world that come in and bounce ideas off each other, and they basically have to help each other. If not want to help somebody else, we tell them don't let the door hitch in the rear end on the way out. And uh, it's worked out really well. We're blessed to be here. and. and uh, that's kind of our facility. You know, you kind of see what you can see. Although, let me show you one more thing. We have a cafe and a pro shop. We have a pro shop selling our own stuff. We actually have our, we have our own protein line right there. The, the Dr. Nita and, uh, and Heather have their own protein line where they formulate the right stuff. It's USADA approved. It's, uh, it's good stuff, um, good natural stuff. So that's kind of it in a nutshell there, man. You can see all the stuff we have to sell. A lot of stuff is things that I've actually worn in a fight because I have so much of it. I make sure I keep one of everything that the, my, all my guys have uh, for memories. And then when I have multiple stuff, it would just sit in the closet. Um, so a lot of that stuff, along with a lot of other memorabilia these guys sign, is available to people in our pro shop and online. So um, try to pay the bills any way we can. Awesome. And just, uh, just to wrap it up, I see that uh, you're pretty passionate about this. Like, how did this, this is obviously your passion come to life. How did this all happen? Like how, how did this come to be? Uh, you know what, it's just Greg, Greg Jackson and I started, got together in 1992 and, and I started rolling with him and he was this little guy that I was already a kickboxing world champion and he would just kept, he kept just choking the crap out of me. And uh, um, cause we were trying to figure out what was going on in the very beginning stages of the UFC. And I think we were in the right place at the right time that we start working out every day together, back and forth. Um, I was doing the stand up, he was doing the grappling type of stuff. We put our heads together and, and uh, we're here today. I think we're, we're blessed to be in the right place at the right time. Um, but I think it's the attitude of the team and the people that are around us that have helped us grow so much and the willingness to help each other out. Um, I love it. I, I love being part of it, see people uh, um, live their dreams. And uh, I get to go to work every day with a smile on my face. Awesome. And for those people who live in your dreams, like what's the most important thing? Is it hard? Is it skill to step into this realm and become a fighter? You got to have it all. You, you got to have the heart. You have to have the skill. You have to have the, the courage to do it. Um, you got to have some natural talent. You definitely have to have a high intellect because it's a big chess game. If you have all that, you can go to the top. If you're missing one of those, it's going to be a long road to get there. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Kyle.